Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We love checking in with our USA national athletes. We have some USA losers here with us and they're on break and they got up early <laughs> and came in to talk to us about their season, their goals, how it's going and what they're looking forward to for the rest of winter 2019. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having us. <laughs> so we have Ashley, Matt, and Rowan. You guys, Ashley, you're part of the USA Luge national team, correct? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Um, well, the national team is, I'm actually the junior national team. So it's just one step below the actual national team. It's kind of like you're um, a fully developed athlete, but you just need more race experience. So they send you on the junior World Cup circuit, and that's what I'm on now. Oh, well, that's exciting. And you guys are on the USA national C team, correct? So explain the different levels of teams because you guys are training in Lake Placid, you're with all the athletes, correct? How does that work? So we get to go to Lake Placid and we get to train and, uh, you know, away from our home track. But uh, the team below us, the D team, they would, you know, pretty much just stay in their home track and then we're one step above them. So we'll get to go to the other national tracks like Park City and Lake Placid and then uh, Whistler and Calgary in the winter up in Canada. And uh, some of us uh, are lucky enough this season to get to go to Switzerland to uh, get some runs in for Youth Olympics in 2020 to get some practice there. You guys can train here in Park City, but you're in Lake Placid a lot because they have a start facility. What is that? Yeah, so the start facility is basically just a very short track. and. If you don't know this about luge, we actually start sitting up and we have handles and we pull off of them. Then that's basically how we get all of our momentum. So the faster your start is, it'll just help you more and more throughout the track. So we have that whole practice facility that we can use all summer and then we can pull starts even without taking a whole run. Oh, nice. And that's, that. I don't know, I've never done this sport before. <laughs> <laughs> is that the hardest part or does it just depend? It just depends. It takes a lot of strength to pull a fast start. You need a lot of shoulder muscles and a lot of core strength. But a lot of people think that the hardest part is, you know, steering down the track or making yeah. yourself relax <laughs> while you're going 70 <laughs> miles an hour. So, I mean, it's just person to person. That's true. So, Rowan, tell me about your season. How's it going and what are some of your goals going into 2019? Uh, it's good. My goals probably to be make youth Olympics. To make youth Olympics? Yeah, that'd okay. be number one. Yeah, well that's exciting. How long have you been a part of USA Luge? This is my sixth year. What got you started? Uh, we just moved out here and we just seemed to wanted to try it, so, and I really liked it. Wow, well that's great. What about you, Matt? What are your goals this season? Um, well, so we already had the Junior World Cup out here in uh, early December, and uh, I got fifth there. Uh, which was way better than I could have ever expected to do. And now uh, I'm going to Switzerland in January, and uh, it's another Junior World Cup. So for 2019, I'm really hoping to do well there again. That would be fantastic. That's great. And how did you get started? Uh, same as Rowan. Uh, this is my sixth year, and uh, we did the after school program and just loved it ever since. Through the Youth Sports Alliance you, yeah. at Ecker Hill Middle mm -hmm. School, you started there? Uh, I started in uh, Trailside Elementary. Oh, I, I was in third grade. Well, what a great, that's a great test testimony of this program here in Park City. And Ashley, you're having a great season. You've placed top nationally and then you were 15th in Calgary, correct? Yeah, um, I was super excited about that. I mean, last year I was having good runs and not the best times, so I was just really hoping to just do a little better. And I mean, two seventh places is really good for me and I like I can't be upset about it and I just hope that I keep the momentum and continue with those top tens. The 15 in Calgary I wasn't that happy with. There was a lot of weather issues and a lot of other athletes were struggling so there's nothing I can do about that. Well that sounded good to me so <laughs> good job. I think that that's fabulous. What's your next competition then? Um, so the next one will be in Eagles in Austria at the end of January and it's actually World Championships or Junior World Championships. Oh exciting. So, yeah. And what do you hope to get from that competition? Where do you hope to place um, or what are kind of your goals there? I want to be in the top 10 in that. I think that would be very, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> well, I think, I'm sure you can do it. It's exciting <laughs> to hear from Thanks. you guys. Uh, USA Luge released a statement about their excitement with having Salt Lake City being the choice for America's city for Salt Lake City 2030. How do you guys feel about that? I and mean, that's kind of a ways down the road. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about having the games here? What are your thoughts? I mean, it would be really incredible to have it here. Um, just 
it, it would be so cool to it's be able to have it in your home, yeah. hometown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where's your favorite places to compete? Here. Here yeah. in Park City. I would I would oh, say here as well. Because of the track, you know, the fans are all of it. Um, I'm most comfortable with the track here, and uh, I I like the track more than I like the Lake Placid track, which is I've only been here and there, but. I do like here a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> it's good to hear. It's really nice to compete here because like your whole family can watch and all your friends can watch. But um, other tracks is also like some tracks have food stands, which is cut fun. <laughs> and um, you know, it just depends on where you like to race. Some tracks are really hard on race day. Some are easy. You know. Yeah. Well, how can we follow along with you guys and kind of cheer cheer you on from your hometown throughout the rest of this season? Um, well, you can always follow the USA Luge website. It's just teamusa.org slash luge. And we're always releasing statements there. And you can also follow our national team there. And then, like, I'm sure we all have personal handles. <laughs> well, yeah, do you want to mention those? Or? Um, I am facebook.com slash luge. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I don't actually have a Facebook, no. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I no, no. We will follow right. along with USA Luge <laughs> and cheer you on, and it's so exciting. So you guys are all from Park City. Have you enjoyed the holidays at home? Absolutely. Sure. It's always nice being with your family. And when do you head back to New York or Europe after this? Where is it next? We have a couple of days of training in New York again before we leave for Europe. When we head there on New Year's? Yeah, we leave for Lake Placid on New Year's. Well, good luck. Well, thanks so much for getting up early and stopping by. We love talking to our local athletes. And again, we are cheering for you guys all the way from Park City, wherever you are, in Austria or Canada or Lake Placid. We are behind you guys. So thanks so much Thank for Thank you here. so much for having us. It's always fun. It's fun to have you. All right, so check out USA Luge. We want to cheer on our hometown athletes and let them know we are behind them 100%. And it's just fun to hear about their competitions and see where they're going next. All right, much more on the Mountain Morning Show right after this quick break.